Alrighty, hi there, and welcome back everybody to Kolioko XR. I am so happy that I'm super early for this episode, and I am most definitely not late at all. No, but in all seriousness, I'd like to apologize to everybody for being super extremely late for this episode. It's just life in general for me has been pretty much hell, with work and family and a whole other bunch of bullshit. But with that being said, let's just get on with the recap on what happened on the last episode. Supercomputer's off, the Oka Warriors, 15 years old, Xana, destroyed, France, dead. Started off heavy, but okay. Sunday, July 1st, 2007. <laughs> God damn it, Jeremy. We all know you just want to turn on the supercomputer back on because you're bored and you have nothing else to do. <laughs> My god, like I'm saying, man, these kids are just psychotic. But lovable though, so it's a pass. <laughs> When Jeremy just said that to the factory, I literally thought of the 1960s Batman one, which, my god, <laughs> cartoons were a hell of a lot more different back then. Uh oh. Well, I mean. You guys did really kick him out of the group at the very last second of season 4. First. Second. Third. Sunday, June 15, 2008. Oh, damn. Wait a minute. So it's been a year now. What the fuck? Okay, I guess we're traveling more into the future, I see. All right. That is a lot of coding shit that I cannot read at all. What a twist! And uh, aka Eileen's mom basically called Jeremy to tell her to don't come in at 8 p.m. It's risky. Okay, I guess she's gonna have some explaining to do. Well, 
Well, there you have it, folks. The recap on the last episode. In case you're new to the channel, or you completely forgot on what happened on the last episode. It's been more than three months since I played the VN, okay? Cut me some slack here. I gotta remind myself, too. Now, without any more further delays, ladies and gentlemen, here is Chapter 2 of CLXR. <laughs> Chapter 2, The Time Room, Kolioko, Xana's Return, 8 p.m. Alright, Jeremy has received a message from Aelita's mom and he wants them to look at it. There goes Princess and Odd. Yeah, I completely forgot how fucking dark that was. <laughs> and this was in a kid's show, man. Like, goddamn, that's just really fucked up, honestly. Just kidnapping, you know, someone right in front of their daughter. That's honestly all sorts of levels of messed up and shit. But yeah, man, that was uh, that was pretty dark, man. The Europeans, man, are uh, pretty crazy with you guys' cartoons. Goddamn. Holy shit, that is some menacing ass shit. And look at the dude right in the middle and shit. It looks like he's just, he's just either like smiling and being all happy about it and shit. Or it's either that or his fucking face is like right in the middle and then like right underneath there is just this freaking his like chin and shit, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know why, but that, that that's just kind of throwing me off, which is really funny and yet weird. But I, I don't know, man. But yeah, uh, going back to the topic, the hand. Uh, goddamn, the fucking men in black just uh, kidnapped Panthera and ran in front of Aelita. And now they're forcing her to work with them. Otherwise, uh, it's goodbye to their child's life, like they said. AKA, goodbye to Aelita. So, yikes. Thank you. 
like uh, kind of making a deal with the devil, man. And uh, I don't think these men in black can be trusted. Like after they just kidnapped you right in front of your family and threatened your daughter's life. I don't know, man. I really don't know. But yeah, I do like the fact that though that um, they are introducing a little bit into the Lord of uh, what happened to Anthea, you know, why she was kidnapped and then, you know, she was forced to work with them and everything. Otherwise, you know, they're gonna yeah, fucking kill Aelita and that's really not good at all. So, you know, we get a little bit of backstory to that, which is pretty cool and interesting. And oh man, a lot just Well, that was a thing that they did discover, you know, once they um, deactivated a tower, they could technically go back to the past about like a day, maybe, like 12 hours ago. It, they never really specify like how far back you could go, you know, like maybe it could be a day, two days, a week, week, I don't know. Well, honestly, that was like the one thing though that I kind of wish that they explained in the Lyoko universe that they should have just said like, oh, once they deactivate a tower, they could only go back this certain amount of X states, you know, like they could only go back one day or they could only go back three days, uh, yada, yada, yada. But the thing that they're talking about here now is uh, the prevention of deaths happening in the first place. So that's actually takes a big toll of events. But who are the are they trying to prevent? Their own people? Politicians? I don't know, man. Like I said, the story very much thickens. Very unnecessary jab there, Odd. But yes, you are right, they're all nerds in the family. Oh shit! Oh no, that's never a good sign. The next day, 6 p.m. Ailita! Ah! Language, young lady! What kind of talk is that? Listen, I know your mother wasn't there, you know, and your father basically took away your childhood life and everything. I know that they raised you better than that. My god, the potty mouth on Princess right there. Calm that with the cursing. This is a fucking kids show, goddammit. That sucks for work. From Lil? Who's Lil? Oh shit, new character maybe? Or was it a character in the show and I can't remember? I don't know, we're just gonna have to see right now. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait, 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 what? Okay, wait, what? That's kind of a bit absurd to use uh, Return to the Past now, uh, don't you think, Aelita? Just because you guys are having a little bit of a bad day, I don't think it's, you know, 
necessary to actually, you know, I don't know, fucking use time travel to go back in time because he had a pretty shitty day, you know, I, I don't know, man, that's just me, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, I, I wouldn't use that for that specific reason, you know, but, hey, do each their own, I guess. Huh, that easy it was to convince him, huh? Yeah, I honestly hope not. Because otherwise, you know, what the hell would have been the point with the return to the past if you guys would have just repeated the same thing all over again? Okay, I, I'm, uh, I have a couple questions. Um, first of all, that was very, uh, unique, the ending. <laughs> I mean, in the beginning, it was really good, you know. Alita finally got to reunite with Anthea, and, you know, she finally told the story of what happened, you know, why she was kidnapped, and then why she was working for the man in black, and basically the whole lore of it. Which was really nice, but I don't know about the ending, man. That's kind of weird how Alia just told Jeremy to go back in time just because they had a pretty bad day. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like that was like very out of character for her. You know, like I would understand if um if they returned to the past because you know Orc hurt himself like fighting some monsters that came out of Lyoko and into the real world and shit. And you know they had to go back to the past so everybody could forget and then you know Orc could be all better. Yeah, you know I would get that. But missing the bus and Jeremy not finishing his robot, I don't think that was very necessary to go back to the past. Like again, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Well, uh, this chapter was very unique, <laughs> I could say. Um, it was very strange, the end. I, I will say that. The ending was pretty strange. You know, especially with the whole, like, you know, Aelita telling Jeremy that, Oh, we all had a shitty day today, so let's just go back to the past just to restart the day. I'm like, what? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I guess they can do that now, ever since that Xana is basically dead. You know, quote unquote, dead. But at the very last scene, you could, you seeing that he is very much alive. So, yeah, uh, remember when they say that returning to the past just makes Xana stronger? Uh, I think that extra return to the past actually brought him back to life or gave him enough strength to come out of hiding and finally fight them. But in summary, like I said, uh, beginning was a heart-to-heart -heart moment with Aelita and her mom, which was pretty cute. Uh, the ending was kind of strange though, but I'll go with it, I'll go with it. But all right, you guys, that was chapter two of Kolioko Xana's Return. I'm pretty sure that's what XR stands for, Xana's Return. Pretty sure it's on the nose there. But yeah, like I said, I am very sorry that this chapter took a long time to come out with. Just with my whole schedule, everything's been a mess right now. And yes, I know that chapter 3 is already out. But I promise you, I will get to that one as soon as I can. But until then, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy my content, please go ahead and watch my other stuff. But like always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you when I see you.